Horn Lake Community is centrally located on Vancouver Island, 20 minutes north of Qualicum Beach. This lakefront community was created by the cottage owners to preserve the distinct recreational way of life that has been enjoyed for many years. There are 400 bare land strata recreational lots surrounded by 3,200 acres of forested common property. Morning everybody, welcome back to Hey Jude's Adventures. And if you're new to the channel, I'm really glad you're here. So today's gonna be really fun. I'm at my friend Alan Shelley's house here at Horn Lake and they're going to take me on a tour. So what kind of fun things are you gonna take us on today? We're gonna um, go look at the rock climbing. Um, we're gonna go check out a mine, an old mine. Oh, I can't wait to go to um, that one. <laughs> there used to be uh, logging in this area and so we're gonna go check out an old camp. Um, we'll go see the RDN Provincial campsite. Yeah. We'll go check out the fisheries uh, intake. There's lots of things we can do out here. Excellent. And what I'm really looking forward to is going for a boat ride. <laughs> because yeah. it's been so long since we've been on a boat ride. Yeah. So. We're going to go on a boat ride. Morning, cappers. You're going to what? We're going to go on a boat ride. Yeah. 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 I just had to say morning, cappers, because I say that on my Snapchats. Oh. Every time I do a Snapchat, I'm okay. going to say, good morning, campers. Good morning, campers. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for a ride, check yeah. it out, see yeah. what we can see. Maybe there'll be some people out there drinking, carrying on. Yeah. A party raft or something, too. At like uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, <okay. laughs> you never know when you're going to have a good day. That's right. Okay. All right. So come along with us today on our adventure. We're going to have a great time. Corn Lake is all off grid. So the only power we have out here is either solar um, or you have like propane for your fridge and stove. Um, it's 25 minutes from Qualicum, 45 minutes from Courtney, and Spider Lake is five minutes away, and so is Spider Lake Springs, which is another beautiful spot in this area as well. It's all gravel roads out here, um, and it's, it's beautiful. Everybody that's been here has, most people that have been here have been here a long, long time. We were able to purchase the property in 2004, I believe, yeah. and um, we love it. Our, we raised our family out here. We have uh, extended family that spent many, many, a lot of time out here, and we truly love it. I mean, look around. It's absolutely beautiful. It is gorgeous. Log walkway coming out here, that was part of the original logging camp. There was a float camp out right here. And there's a cabin right at the top of that that was built in the 30s. Since Horn Lake is considered recreational property, you're only allowed to live here at the lake to around 230 days of the year. That's it. That's the restriction that's put on the on the cabin owners. So do you think other people try and stay here longer? Uh yeah, some yeah, some, some do. Yeah. Um yeah. which you which know, is, is which is good because it keeps the um, thieving down a bit. You know, they they do checks. They go down the roads and make sure that people's cabins are secure and safe, which is nice that they do that. But our yeah. cabin's been broken into. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. The thieves actually stayed there. Oh my god. Yeah, they cooked there. They slept there. Oh. And they'd actually left stuff from other cabins that they that they. Uh, they stole from other cabins. We found out who they were and took back their stuff. Oh wow! Yeah. Oh, boy. Yeah. Back in the day. So, so that's the climbing wall. Yeah, yeah. That's the climbing wall up there, and you really can't see, but there's what they call a dome in there, and it kind of goes up like this and down, and that's where everybody climbs. And there, you got to climb right upside down to get around the face. Oh wow! It's pretty cool. It's a bit of a hike up there, but. I don't even see any ropes hanging down today because quite often you can see some ropes up there. Hey Shelly, when was the slide? 1976. 1976. Yeah. Okay. And you can kind of see where that tree line is lower than the other tree line. That's where it slid and it slid right across, it came down, slid right across the road into the lake. And the road to the campground, which is right here, got blocked off. Oh wow. Yeah. And it also took out the power line that goes to Port Alberta. So all this area in here used to have cabins on it, but then when we purchased the land, 
it was deemed that this was unstable land due to the big rock slide just over here. Oh, really? And all these cabins had to be removed. Oh, no. Yeah, so uh, 12 of them were relocated to the other side of the lake. Yeah. And I think two or three of them had to get torn down. Oh, that's... They weren't, they weren't movable. No. Yeah. So you still will see some odd pieces of concrete and stuff in here still from when the cabins were here. Okay, so years ago when Ty was like eight years old, we climbed up, my son, we climbed up to the top of the slide and before we went, I loaded up this pack sack for us. We get to the top of the hill, Ty, he's just like, holy shit, dad. He says, I need a, uh, I need a pop. So he goes, opens up the, the pack sack there's no pop, there's no water, it's just my beer. <laughs> oh, Dad! <laughs> oh, I know, hey, that's one of those dad things, right? Yeah, I loved it though, yeah. We've actually climbed that up twice there. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun. It's actually more fun coming down because you kind of, it's like skiing, skiing right? Skiing, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of loose rock up there and sometimes you hear them coming, pinging past your head. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a lot of fun up there though. So past the campground here is the Horn Lake Caves. Right. And that's a very popular spot. There's quite a few caves. There's guided tours in there, um, usually between 50 and $200, depending on the cave that you're going into. And now they have a cave slide. And actually my friend Carrie and I, we did a tour there and we oh, went nice. on the cave slide. It was super fun. So oh, I actually yeah. made a video on that. So if you want to check it out, it's oh, yeah. uh, Horn Lake Caves. Horn Lake Caves, <laughs> Horn yeah, Lake Caves. great, excellent. Yeah. So back in the 1920s, they started logging um, all around the lake. Um, they built a railroad from Deep Bay to the lake to get the logs out, which is about 18 miles away. Um, so right here in the Horn Lake Regional District campground uh, is where they had the camp and they had a school, they had a store, they had a sawmill, uh, they had a um, place for 450 men where the 450 men were. There was 10 family homes and there was a, also a tugboat named Jake's that worked on the lake. Um, really? It was a pretty big spot uh, back in the day when they did all this logging around the lake. Wow. I can't believe they had a, a school. A and, school. Yeah. 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 So been, right in this area here. The old school that was here at the camp was actually turned into a cabin is, is on the lake somewhere. I haven't seen it. Really? But I've heard stories that it is a, an actual cabin out yeah. here now. That's very cool. And another interesting thing is they uh, they had the ability to build a locomotive at this camp, the machine shop. They did? Yeah, they built and repaired their, all their locomotives for for uh, doing the logging. Yeah. Lots of history here. There Lots is a lot of history, of history here. Yeah. yeah. So back, uh, Horn, Adam Horn was the first non-native to visit the lake in 1855. Um, at the time, the lake was known as Enoxacent Lake. Enoxacent. Enoxacent, yeah. And then four years later, uh, Captain Richards of the, uh, what was the name of that? HMCS Plumber. Oh. Yeah. Uh, renamed the lake to Horn Lake. Because he was doing the geological survey. Because he was doing the, yeah, he was doing the geological survey of the whole area. Cool. Neat, hey? Yeah. A lot of history. Yeah. It's funny because I always thought that Horn Lake was named after uh, the shape of it because actually Horn Lake, if you look at it from above, is shaped like a saxophone. It sure is. So that's rather that's funny that uh, it's actually named after a fellow named Horn. Yeah. And didn't you say that he did a lot of exploration around here? He yeah. worked for the Hudson's Bay Company? He worked for the Hudson's Bay Company and okay. also uh, surveyed the First Nations Trail between Horn Lake and Port Alberni. And he was one that brought it forward to the government, and then the government developed the trail to turn it into a, uh, a uh, wagon trail. And the government for four years after that, actually five years, maintained it until the uh, Angel Rock portion was put in for vehicles. This was too steep for, uh, for vehicles, so they had to use horses only and wagons. And it took three days to get from the Nanaimo to Port Alberni. Wow. Yeah. Now it takes 20 minutes. <laughs> if the highway's open. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
you remember when we started back there at the start of the campground? Well, it goes right around to the corner over yeah. here. Yeah, that's right. So that's the river there? Yeah. That's the river? Yeah. That's part of the old logging railroad. Really? Yeah. So that's like over a hundred years old. It was put in there. So the mine was built in 1939. And I think that these pilings up here were part of the, uh, enabled them to get access to the mine. What were they mining? They were mining gold and silver. Mm -hmm. And another product, I can't even pronounce it. Alum. Alamani? Alamani, I think is Alamani? Yeah. yeah, it was, it was, I don't know what it was. Anyway, a bit of gold and silver. But they didn't go in that far. Uh, when we first started going there, there was tracks going in and a, a little cart mm -hmm. for taking the stuff out. But since then, somebody packed the cart out. Oh. But, so yeah, I don't know what was on these pilings here. So, could have been from the logging, could have been from the, uh, from the mine, but it was it was quite a big platform here, so I'm not quite sure what it was. And now a few people have built bird cages on them. Bird houses. Mm -hmm. But bird. it's amazing that this has lasted for almost a hundred years. My goodness. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just stop here for a minute. We'll probably see a bird or two. I don't know what the hell kind of bird they are. It's right there where that ribbon is. Where's the ribbon? Right there. It's on that tree right there. Okay. Just looking for a good spot to uh gather. How are you doing, Judy? Ah, good. Not too far of a step. No, perfect. For the vertically challenged I made people. It. Yeah. Awesome. So Alan Shelley found the access point to the mine here, and I believe it was called Silver Bell Mine. So we're gonna go check it out. And there's a, a trail here, that, and it looks like it's pretty uh, well worn. So yeah, let's go find it. Go, Judy! Woo, woo! Go, Judy! Woo, woo! You're up! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Some of the old railway tracks going into the mine. Coming out of the mine. Cool. I didn't realize it was just like right here. Yeah. So it's fallen down quite a bit since I first was here. 30 years ago. So quite a bit of this has fallen down. Wow. Because the tracks used to be exposed right here. You can see right here where the wooden structure was. Oh, wow. But the wooden structure's all gone now. Oh, See, there's cool. the tracks going in. There's always frogs in here. The frogs are eaten. The flies, right? Where's the frog? Right there. Oh, right there. Hi, frog. Yeah. So you should be able to get right close to it. Yeah. It won't slip. Yeah, this is pretty good here. Oh, wow, he's huge. Yeah, he's a big frog. Lots of flies at the entrance here. We're not coming in, honey? Mm -hmm. Hi, frog. Oh, yeah. He's black too, eh? So the, the vein that they followed in here was only 30 centimeters thick. 
But you imagine, how the hell would you find that in the middle of this forest? I have no idea. Find a vein that's 30 centimeters thick. So this was the this special rock that the, this quartz, I think it's quartz. Quartz? That the gold's in. Ooh, another frog. Another frog. Whoa, he's big. Yeah, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Hello, Mr. Frog. Hello, Mr. Frog. Hanging out in the trap. What are you doing today? Because yeah. I have been in here and it's been water on the floor in here. Oh, right. Yeah. Oh, here's dripping. Yeah. Yeah, this actually this roof is dripping too, one of the size of this spider. Yeah. Big spider? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that guy. Holy. Man. Hello! Hello! Hello, Mr. Look at that. Thing. Are these spiders or crickets? I think these are spiders. Spiders? Look how big that thing is. I'll leave it alone. That's why I have my hat on. Oh, for bugs in your hair? Yeah. Here's another frog, a little frog though. A little frog? Yeah, oh, there it goes. Hey, Mr. Frog. It's owl making noises. We're all good. Piece of steel. They were probably, they drill the holes in here by hand. Yeah. Like with that. The hand drill and hit it with a sledgehammer. They drill the holes in about the far, put dynamite in there, put the steel up against it, prop it up, and then shoot it. And shooting it, I mean, like blast it. Yeah. And that's how they slowly work their way in here. Wow. Yeah, you imagine the guy said, Yeah, boys, there's nothing left. We gotta go home now. We're out. Yeah. See, they drilled in that way. You can see that's where the the round hole was, right? Yeah. So that was done with a, a hand, a hand boring tool. They just hit it with a sledgehammer, got one guy hitting it, one guy turning it. Yeah. Some copper there, see the green? Wow. Oh. They run out of the good quartz, I guess, and that's it. No more gold. No more gold. And it was, uh, Geez, when you look at this, it kind of sparkles at spots, eh? Yeah. You know, see like the sparkle in here? You see some of that? You just go, huh? So they got 14 ounces a ton. Wow. If I remember right. 14 ounces a ton. Yeah. Done by hand. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine that? No. Hard work? Oh my they God. say good old days, but I would disagree. Yeah. I mean, you got a toothache back then, you know, you died. Yeah. You got yanked out by the barber. Yeah. Yeah, your buddy that your hand born with accidentally hits your hand with a sledgehammer. Yeah. Well, you know, you're crippled for life. Yes. And there was no workers comp back then. No, that's for sure. I'm wearing my hat so I don't get spiders or crickets or whatever they are in my yeah. hair. <laughs> Good plan on my part. <laughs> So when you find this old rail like this, there's a date on it. There's a date? Yeah, but sometimes you gotta look really, really hard. This would be hard to find it because it's so rusty. You see something in there? Yeah, it looks like there's a cavity in the other side of that thing. Really? Yeah. What? Does it look like there's an opening in there? I don't know, I can't tell. There's a secret room back there. I may have to bring my- uh, Secret mine. Camera back here. Yes. I have one of those cameras that's got a light on it, you know, an MVO scope, whatever they call it. Oh, wow. Yeah. You'll have to bring it back. Yeah, check it check out. Check it out. There's a hole back there. See that? Yes. I don't know what the hell's back there. Sounds like uh, another investigation day. Maybe, eh? Yeah. Honey, we got to come back. <laughs> we got to come back. <laughs> yeah, we're going to come back here. Hello. Hello. Oh, look at this one. Hello, guys. Oh my gosh, you're all gathered right there. Oh, they're mad about the light. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. These two are mates. Oh my gosh, look at all those. Yeah. Whoa. 
Last time I was in here, it was just all I was like that. Oh my god. That's why those frogs are so big. Whoa. Uh, Whoa. Too bad Uncle Chuck isn't here. Oh my god. Look at those guys. Whoa. They were mating. Mating. You interrupted mating. the process. Oh yeah. Oh, just about stepped on that big frog. It's a frog. Yeah. He's all black, so he's disguised, right? Yeah. Hi, buddy. Sorry to bother you. So these spiders, when they're mating like that up on the roof, yeah. when they're done, the, the male falls down onto the ground, and then the frog picks him up and eats him. Really? Yeah. Smart frogs. Yeah. Go on. Ah, he's not on my leg, is he? No. No. Ah. He didn't crawl up your pant leg. <laughs> Right. Whoa, it's much cooler in the caves. It feels like yeah. what a what a difference outside temperature, cave temperature. I think I, I think I want to go back to the cave. As long as there aren't any spiders in my head oh, or crickets, no on your whatever head. the heck I'm they are. Right now. Okay. <laughs> That's a good place to keep my beer cold too, eh? That's right. Yeah. I guess I can turn my light off now. So that was really fun exploring the mine. Now we're going to head out to Pete's, Pete's Rock. Rock. <laughs> Where everybody jumps off the rock. <gasps> fun. Are you going to jump? Your turn. My turn. <laughs> it's such a distinct rock. It's so cool. Oh, yeah, it is. And it used to say right here on the side of it, Pete's Rock. Oh. For like, I don't know, as long as I can remember. I guess over time, the sun beat it off. And we've been out here for 30 years. Yeah. 30 years. 30 years. And it's stuck on there. Pete's Rock stuck yeah, on there. That must have been good paint. Must have been really good paint. Hey, there's even a wharf over there. Yeah, that's new. Let me find out up there. Yeah. One of the submerged intakes here yeah. that they have for um, the water going into the big Qualicum River. And the other one is just around the corner down here. So as you can see the sign there, danger, danger. submerged intake. There's actually two intakes here at different elevations so they can take the water out at two different temperatures. Oh really? Yeah. What do you mean two different temperatures? Well the deeper the water, the cooler the water. The right. closer to the surface the water temperature is warmer. Okay. And so they uh, control the water temperature to try and enhance the hatchery, like the fish that are in the channels and stuff. Okay. Yeah. That's the knowledge that I know. <laughs> <laughs> I actually met a guy that worked on this tunnel, because this tunnel here goes through this mountain and comes out like two or three kilometers away. Really? Yeah. Thank you so much for this glorious oh, day. Oh, you're welcome. What a great ride we had today. I had so much fun. It's been so long since I've been on a boat and I yeah. had so much fun. Thank you, you so much. You have to go for that high speed run, right? Your lips I know. Are My flat. lips are going, woo! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And exploring the mine was really cool. Yeah. And oh, there's spiders on you. <laughs> <laughs> and we learned so much about Horn Lake history. That's really cool. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, you go to a place, you don't really think about it, and there's so That's much right. history That's everywhere right. you go. Yeah. So. I really love it. Yeah. So thank you so much. You're very oh, welcome. welcome. Alan, yeah. Shelley, yep. thank you, yep. thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm almost there at the, you know. Magic number? The magic number for new YouTubers, you know, so. Right yeah. on. So, yeah. Keep the shiny side up. Keep the rubber side up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, high five. High five. High five. <laughs>